Well, it's mid-October here in central New Hampshire in the Lakes region. Um, today I'm going up on my roof to remove all the pine needles in the valleys uh, just to make sure that we don't leave them there and have snow and ice build up in those valleys during the winter months. Um, I've also been doing a lot of other projects around here as we get ready for the, the winter season. I've pulled out the dock, um, we pulled out the boat, the jet ski, the canoe, um, got rid of the uh, fencing around our garden. But I also, probably within the next week, uh, winterize my beehive. Um, so today I've got family coming and I figured I'd get this project done early. Um, once I get that done, I gotta go and uh, do another home cooking project while my wife's at work in preparation for all of uh, the family that's showing up this afternoon. So come along and take a look what we're working on here around the lakes region of New Hampshire. So besides the ladder to remove these pine needles uh, from the roof valleys, I've just got a small hand rake that I've attached to uh, a, a pole, a telescopic pole that's normally used for trimming trees. And basically this allows me, um, in combination with the ladder, to really reach out and get up uh, high up into the valleys to remove all those pine needles. I also use a brush after I get the um, thick stuff uh, kind of unglued, if you will, from the roof. Just use a brush to wipe it down. And then I'll follow up with the um, leaf blower to get rid of any residual uh, material that's still stuck on the roof. So the last thing I'm going to do is put some wet and forget down um, in these valleys because I noticed when I was up there there's some moss growing there and that's really um, working to trap uh, the pine needles that do fall on the roof. So if I put some wet and forget down, even though it's getting kind of late in the season, it's still warm enough during the day that there's enough sunlight that I think uh, this wet and forget will help to kill off some of that moss and algae, but particularly the moss, to um, mitigate some of the, the uh, pine needles that get attached uh, to those roof valleys. So I'm just using this hand pump sprayer to apply the wet and forget. I've uh, mixed it with water to the right ratio and we're gonna go up in the roof and spray it around a little bit. project done. Time to move inside, do a little bacon here, and I uh, get ready for the company to arrive. All right, so the next project I've been assigned is to make the bread. So I got a package of yeast here. Pretty quick recipe. I've got a cup of milk. I got to warm for 45 seconds. I need a cup of warm water. Mix it in with the yeast. Put on the right adapter for the mixer. Get it going a little bit. Next, I'm going to put in two teaspoons of sh or tablespoons of sugar. Two teaspoons of salt. And two tablespoons of extra virgin oil, olive oil. No real rocket science here. It's a recipe that I got from my mother who has it up from her father. Works like a champ, been doing it for about 40 years. All right, we're going to mix that up for a second. That's good enough. Pour in a cup of warm milk. Mix that around. Next is the flour. I need five cups of flour. Good five cups of flour.
Now with the five cups of flour, and I'm just blending it up. It's gonna blend up to a nice ball. I might have to push it down a little bit. Got a little bit of flour to put on my fingers here to make it so it doesn't stick to my fingers. As you can see, it's firming up. Give it another minute or so, then I'm gonna pull it off the uh, uh, beater and add a little bit more flour, I think. And I use my little flour on my fingers so I can get it off without it sticking to me too much. But I can see I want to add a little bit more flour. Okay, let's we'll see if we can pull it off the stick now. Knead it up a little bit more. Then what I do is I put a little Crisco on a plastic baggie. Just grease up the inside of the pan or the bowl. And again, just one more time, I kind of fold the dough on top of each other to get a little air inside it. And I kind of just roll it around in a bowl like that. And we're gonna cover it with a cloth. I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour and a half and we'll be ready to make some bread with that afterwards. Okay, so it's been an hour and a half. We're gonna just cut this loaf of dough into two pieces evenly. already greased both pans just like I normally do with uh, with some Crisco with that plastic bag like I did before with the, the main bowl and just gonna kind of fold the dough a little bit you can see how nice and pliable soft it is and we're gonna just pop it in the pan push it around nice and even like so and we're gonna put this right in the oven there's no second rising period of time necessary. We just put it in like that. I'm gonna set the timer for about 25 minutes. Um, I have the oven heated to 350 degrees. Uh, basically when this timer goes off, the bread should be brown. It should kind of sound a little hollow and we'll know it's ready. Okay, it's been about 27 minutes. I'm gonna pull the bread out. Looks kind of brown. Nice, nice color in the bottom. Nice and brown. So we'll pull the pans out, we'll let those cool off, we'll give it a shot. See how it tastes. All right, we're gonna cut a slice, give it a test try. Some butter here. Perfect. Just like it's been going on for about 40 years. 40 years. Well, anyways, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Hope you enjoyed uh, this video. You learned a little bit about how to clean out root valleys, keep the pine needles out, get the moss out. And I'll also put this recipe for the bread in the comment section. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.